If you ask someone which dinosaur fought most with T-Rex, many people might say Spinosaurus because of Jurassic Park 3, where Spinosaurus defeats a T-Rex. This makes people think they lived and fought together often. Some might also think of Giganosaurus fighting T-Rex, thanks to recent movies. But in reality, Spinosaurus and Giganosaurus never even met T-Rex. They lived millions of years apart. T-Rex's real enemy wasn't another meat-eating dinosaur. It was a plant eater, and the only one known to have hurt a T-Rex, Triceratops. Imagine a big animal with a huge skull, three sharp horns, and a body like a tank. That's Triceratops. It's famous not only for how it looks and its big size, but also for being tough. Even though we know it well today, Triceratops wasn't called that at first. Scientists thought it was a mammal when they first found its bones. In 1887, a pair of brow horns were discovered in Colorado and sent to the famed paleontologist Othiel Marsh. He believed these horns belonged not to a dinosaur, but to an ancient bison. Dubbed Bison Alticornis, this so-called bison was left at that. This misclassification occurred because at the time, no one knew ceratops and dinosaurs even existed. Just one year later, Marsh introduced the world to ceratops, the first horned dinosaur. Within the same year, a cowboy stumbled upon a monstrous skull sticking out of a ravine. This skull, like other horned dinosaur remains, was sent to Marsh who designated them as a new ceratops species. A year later, a well-preserved skull with all its horns was located, leading Marsh to finally recognize the new ceratops species and his bison as the same animal, a completely new genus of horned dinosaur named Triceratops, meaning the three-horned face. Triceratops played a significant role in dinosaur classification, with the major group Ceratopsia being classified as all marginocephalians more closely related to Triceratops than to Pachycephalosaurus. Within this group, Triceratops falls under the Ceratopsid family, and more specifically the Triceratopsini tribe, joined by its closest relative, the contemporary Taurosaurus. Over time, more than 15 species of Triceratops have been described, but only two are considered valid today. Triceratops horridus and Triceratops porcis. From a distance, both look similar, but there are differences. Horridus typically had a longer snout and shorter nasal horn, while porcis had a shorter snout and longer nasal horn. Both species were massive, with the largest known specimen, dubbed Big John, belonging to Horridus, making them contenders for the largest ceratopsine of all time. An adult Triceratops was among the largest non-sauropods of its time, ranging from 26 to 30 feet in length and weighing between 6 and 10 tons. Exceptionally large individuals could tip the scales at 12 tons, making them heavier than the Tyrannosaurus itself. Triceratops had evolved some powerful defenses, including exceptionally thick bones. Its femur, when compared to that of a large African elephant, shows how robust Triceratops was. This sturdiness provided protection against injury, further enhanced by its low center of gravity. One of the most remarkable features of Triceratops was its giant skull, which could make up more than a third of its total length. The largest recorded skulls were 8.2 feet long, among the largest of any terrestrial animal. The wide and frill at the top likely played a part in both courtship displays and defense against large predators. Triceratops horns need no introduction. These weapons were exceptionally sharp and long, with the two situated above its eyes, sometimes measuring 3.77 feet long. In life, the horns were likely covered in sheets of keratin, making them even more formidable. Despite being herbivores, Triceratops were fierce. Their horns were mainly used in combat with their own kind, often over mating rights or territory. Studies have found that 14% of Triceratops skulls had injuries that matched what you would expect from horn combat. Triceratops occasionally use their defenses against their only known predator, the Tyrannosaurus. Fossils bear damage to the skull and body that could have only come from a T-Rex's tooth. Interestingly, Triceratops remains the only dinosaur known to have injured a T-Rex through fossil remains. Another interesting case involves a large adult T-Rex known as Dual Rex, which had a puncture wound in its femur, likely caused by a Triceratops. This suggests a seek attack, indicating that Triceratops were not only defensive but also aggressive when needed. Triceratops had an unnervy amount of teeth, with dental batteries allowing it to shear through tough vegetation. Adults could have over 800 teeth at once. Triceratops also had a beak that aided in its feeding, allowing it to strip and pluck leaves efficiently. Triceratops was incredibly successful, often the most abundant animal in its ecosystem. It sometimes accounted for 69% of the total dinosaur population within certain ecosystems. Despite this, most Triceratops skeletons are found isolated, suggesting adults preferred solitary lives. Triceratops lived alongside a variety of dinosaurs, including Edmontosaurus, Taurosaurus, Ankylosaurus, and the infamous T-Rex. Predators included T-Rex, Dicotheraptor, and non-dinosaurs like Borealisuchus and Champsosaurus. 
Triceratops thrived in lush subtropical forests covered by swamps, lakes, and rivers, providing an abundance of life. The Hell Creek Formation is one of the most famous sites where Triceratops could be found. Imagine this, the late Cretaceous period about 68 to 66 million years ago. The world is a lush, warm forest full of life. Among the tall trees and thick bushes, a huge Triceratops is peacefully eating plants. Its three horns shine in the sunlight. Suddenly, the ground shakes as a scary Tyrannosaurus Rex, the top hunter of its time, comes out of the shadows. If you ask someone who T-Rex had the most amazing fights with, many might say Spinosaurus or Giganobososaurus. Thanks to movies, these battles are stuck in our minds. But in reality, T-Rex never met these dinosaurs. Instead, its real enemy was the strong Triceratops. As the T-Rex comes closer, the Triceratops senses the danger. It lifts its big head, its frill, the shield-like part on its neck, rising up and gets ready to face the threat. This wasn't just any plant eater. This was a tank on four legs with horns that could stab through flesh and bone. The T-Rex, with its strong jaws and sharp teeth, jumps forward. But the Triceratops is ready. With a quick and powerful move of its head, it meets the attack head-on. The two giants crash into each other, and the sound of their fight echoes through the forest. This wasn't a one-sided battle. Triceratops was well prepared for such fights. Its skull was one of the largest and strongest of any land animal, able to take huge hits. The frill and horns were not just for show, they were its main weapons and defense tools. Imagine a the T-Rex snapping its jaws, trying to find a weak spot, while the Triceratops keeps it away with its sharp horns. Each hit from the Triceratops could end the fight, but the T-Rex was relentless, driven by hunger and instinct. We know these battles happened because of the clues left behind in fossils. One of the most famous discoveries is the dueling dinosaurs, where a T-Rex and a Triceratops were found locked in a deadly fight. The T-Rex had broken teeth, a damaged finger, and a cracked skull, while the Triceratops showed signs of a fierce struggle, including a T-Rex tooth stuck in its body. In another amazing find, a T-Rex thigh bone was found with a hole that matched the size and shape of a Triceratops horn. It suggests that the Triceratops might have rammed the T-Rex from behind, showing his fighting skills. Triceratops wasn't just about strength. It had strategies for survival. Its thick, strong bones could take heavy hits, and its low center of gravity made it harder to knock over. When facing a predator as scary as T-Rex, every advantage mattered. These fights were not just rare one-time events. Fossil evidence shows that about 14% of Triceratops' skulls have injuries from horn battles. This suggests that they not only defended themselves against predators, but also fought amongst themselves, possibly for territory or mating rights. Late Triceratops was one of the dinosaurs around for the KT station event that ended both it and the T-Rex. Interestingly, a Triceratops found 13 centimeters above the KPG boundary is considered the youngest dinosaur known to science, making it possibly the last one standing between the two. And there you have it, the mighty Triceratops. But the Triceratops wasn't the only animal back then that the T-Rex was wary of. If you want to hear about the only dinosaur the T-Rex was afraid of, check out my video on that topic. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Join us on this journey through the prehistoric world where every fossil tells a story and every story brings these ancient giants back to life. Until next time, keep exploring and stay curious.